Hello and welcome to another episode of Loxone Explained, the video format for all those interested in technology, Loxone partners and everyone who would like to become one. In today's episode I would like to go into the topic of speakers in a building automated with Loxone. When planning a Loxon building, you may ask yourself in which rooms or areas is it advisable to plan speakers, how many speakers are needed and how do I connect them to the audio server and the stereo extensions. I will go into more detail on all of these questions in today's video. The speaker specialist Quadral, which is part of the Loxon group, offers a wide range of speakers that are ideally suited for use with a Loxon audio server. The in-ceiling 7 speakers, for example, are ideal for use indoors and in sheltered outdoor areas. If ceiling installation is structurally impossible or simply not desired, the wall speaker is the ideal product. For all those who want even more in terms of sound, the Signum, Chromium and Aurum series are the products of choice. So it doesn't matter whether it's a bathroom, living area, kitchen, office, shop, gastronomy and much more, Quadral offers the right speaker for every application. The number of ceiling speakers depends on the size of the room. In a room up to 15 square meters, it is advisable to use an in-ceiling 7 speaker in the so-called stereo down mix. This means that both stereo channels, left and right, are mixed into one channel. With a room size of 15 up to 20 square meters, we recommend planning one up to two speakers depending on the room layout. For 20 square meters, two speakers are used and for a room size over 40 square meters, it is recommended to use four speakers. In the stereo down mix, for example when only one ceiling speaker is used, a speaker cable is required which is pulled from the audio server or the stereo extension to the speaker. A stereo output is then simply separated with one click in the Loxon config. In general, when positioning the speakers, care should be taken to ensure that a minimum distance of 50 cm from the wall is maintained. This ensures better and more even sound distribution. An exception is the Quadral wall speaker, which was specially developed for use close to a wall. The speakers should be positioned in the room so that your clients naturally get the best stereo effect from the listening position in the room where they are most. Thus, for example, the speakers in the living area move closer to the couch and in the dining area closer to the dining table. And so that the Quadral speakers can unfold their full sound spectrum, we recommend a cable cross section of at least 2.5 square millimeters and a suitable built-in box. In large rooms without partitions, in which only the same music would be played, such as a living dining area, you can fix speakers individually to audio groups. The same signal is then automatically reproduced here, but the volume can adjust it individually. How could this look like in practice if, for example, you have combined an old and new building in one living area and now want to equip it with speakers? In our example, we position two speakers in stereo mode above the cooking island and the bar area, which are connected to an audio server. The spacious dining area will be equipped with six speakers, the lounge area and the west terrace, pool terrace and pool area will each have two speakers. In total we have two audio servers and five stereo extensions. All speakers reproduce the same signal. We use two audio servers in our example because we use one of them decentrally via network in the garden house. We can easily control the volume of the individual areas via the Loxon app, maybe a little louder inside but switched off outside when we are not in the garden. But of course it can also be much larger. Let's imagine a gastronomy with a large guest area, adjoining room and bar area. The music should perhaps be a bit louder in the bar area than in the guest area, completely switched off in the next room, different music should be played here or a microphone connected to the audio server via the line in input should be audible. Let's take a quick look at how we program it all in the Loxon config. Our audio server is already online, here we can find all connected speakers. We set the correct number of ohms for each speaker, for example 8 ohms for the ceiling 7 speakers and, depending on the number of speakers used in the room, either combine them into one track in the stereo down mix or separate the channels. Now we simply drag the speakers to our side and the audio player will be created automatically. 
For example, we add the speakers for the different areas of the bar area and the guest area and also add the audio player fixed group block to always play the same signal over these speakers. The big advantage here is that you can still control the volume of every speaker individually. All further information about the audio player block can be found in our online documentation. If you like this video, we would of course be happy about a thumbs up or a subscription so that you don't miss any more videos in the future. That's it from me. Thanks for tuning in.